Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a thrift, vintage, estate sale, all the things haul for you today. You know I've been into the vintage -y stuff, right? Um, so I, last week or two, I've been just stopping in here and there and picking up some fun stuff and I wanted to share it with you. Mm. Coffee, it's imperative today kind of a rainy yucky day all right so uh first things first i went to an estate sale so let's get this out of the way oh i'm gonna have to insert a picture of this guys it's a little close it's a sled the brand is um davos d a oh there it is d a v o s it's from i believe germany when i looked this up online these sleds um, are going for upwards of $200. I paid $12 for it. I know. So I'm going to put some decoration on it and put it on my front porch for Christmas time. Or it's going to lean over here in front of my fireplace. I'm not sure which. Hi, Alex. Buddy's over here hanging out with me. Now, I don't quite remember where all of this stuff came from, but I'm pretty sure sure it was the same place oh no it's not um goodwill i got a bathing suit bottom if anybody cares okay this was from volunteers of america i think yeah and i got this old clock it's not an old clock it's just a a not working clock because i just took it apart but oh wait did i get this at volunteers Yes, Volunteers of America. Really what I want to do is uh, frame a cross stitch in here. I've seen this on um, Kay Goldman on Instagram, but I think she saw it from somebody else, so it's not my unique idea. Now I do need to put a little kickstand on the back, which is perfectly fine. So what'll happen is it comes out like a picture frame and I'll just take this piece out and then I will put my fabric around it and put it back in. Isn't that neat? But I did like the vintagey vibe of this old clock. So I grabbed that. Hi, hi Alex. Um, and then I grabbed this basket. This was $3.93. It's Stonewall Kitchen. I don't know, but I liked the shape of it. I think for my kitchen to hold my K-cups, possibly. Um, yeah, I just like the unique design and shape. And I like that it has a hard bottom. Because sometimes baskets don't, and if you want to display something in it, um, it's a little challenging. Also, I can use this for cross-stitch display, like pillows or whatever, but I'll stop flopping it around. So I liked the colors, I liked the vintage vibe, and I liked the sturdy base of it. And it was $3.93. So I got that. So I think that was all from Volunteers of America. And then I went to... St. Vincent de Paul, which is becoming quickly my favorite place because I don't know, it just has a lot of vintagey craft stuff. But this tin, and this is from Whitman's Chocolate. And this is old-ish. Oh, this is from 1992, not old. It is 150th anniversary tin. So not, not old, but it looks old. So it will go with my stuff, but it was also full. So there was some floss in here, which is I'll use, but what I really wanted it for, one of the things, besides the tin itself, is these little, they're, they're metal little frames that I can put tiny little cross stitch if I want. Um, and they came with the, no, that doesn't go with that. Well, it might go with that but I don't think it goes with that. But anyway, you put like, you know, your cross stitch in here. Oh, here, I'm sorry. There must have been bigger frames at some point with this, whoever this lady is, she and I would be friends. Here we go. She cut out that to go in here. It, it doesn't fit perfectly. I will have to trim them down a little bit, but you can attach your cross stitch to these little frames and then they can sit or you can take these off the back and make it like an ornament. So there was two of these 
in here. This one is very rough um, as far as like scratchy goes. Like it would tear things. So I have to be careful with that one. And like I said, there's some floss in here as well. Some colors. We'll see about those. Um, there is magnets that we use. And then there is some other floss. This is, uh, I don't even know what brand this is. Lily Craft, 20 cents for the black floss. So I probably won't use this because I don't know how long ago floss was 20 cents. But there's no date on it. It's number 244. But I think I will put this with my tiered tray and with my vintage stuff that I have getting ready to be displayed. And then there were some patterns, just some different cross stitching patterns. Oh, here, this was a kit with these metal frames. It was the creative circle. I don't know, but there's that directions and then some little cross stitching patterns, which are fun. Um, some scissors, and then I'm assuming she did some type of um, plastic canvas, whoever, or he, whoever this person was. I don't do the, I don't do plastic canvas, so I don't need that, but this other stuff is super fun. So I found this whole tin, and I think it was like $2.99, $1.99. $1.99 for this tin. And this will look nice in my tiered tray because it's larger. And then at the same store, I found this. This is a shaker style box. I don't think, I don't know if it's really shaker, but it definitely is in the shaker style. Um, it was regularly $3.29, but it was half price. So it was $1.64. Um, I will attach a cross stitch to the top or something and kind of get rid of this heart. But it's a beautiful display piece or even to put like sewing notions in and things in my craft room. And I thought it was very fun and it definitely is in the shaker style, like I said, but I don't, I don't know if it's shaker, but I will tell you it's not a perfect circle. So it kind of lends me to believe that it potentially was not machine made. But then I look around here and these brads, these little nails are very evenly spaced. So, I don't know, it was $1.64, it's perfect. It is perfection, how about that? Okay, Alex, buddy, I'm gonna need you to move. I also have another big thing. This is, I believe, a quilting hoop. If I learned correctly from the last one that I found. This one was, $3.99, but what I would like to do is buy a piece of fabric that I really enjoy and putting it in here, trimming it up and hanging it on my craft room wall. That's it, just an old, an old hoop. And I'm assuming it's old, I don't know, but an old hoop with some pretty fabric and I can change it anytime I want to change the decor in my craft room slash office. And I mean, yeah, it just works like I'm thinking this was for like hand quilting, but I don't know. Here's what I do know. It was uh, $3.99. Okay, that was from a store in Heath called Sophie's Thrift. The proceeds go to the Humane Society, so I really wanted to go there. And I picked up a few things. I was kind of excited. Um, I found a zipper in the size that I use, and look at that fabulous color for 99 cents. And trust me, these are not 99 cent zippers. I pay 329, I think, for them. And it's 25, and it's this beautiful mustardy gold, which I think will be fun for something, Christmas bag or something. And then, I don't, I don't remember where I found all these, but we're gonna pretend this was, yeah, we'll pretend this was somewhere. Oh, this was definitely at that store. It's navy blue Ada. 99 cents and you get a piece that I think these are fat quarters yeah 15 by 18 
piece of Ada cloth for cross stitching. And you know, I like Ada for certain things. And then the last things I found in there were, are kind of exciting. These are replica samplers from, this one I know for sure is from 1978, that they, that this pattern was printed. And you can still buy one of these two. This one you can still get on Etsy for $24 for a recreation of this recreation. And we're recreating the recreations at this point. But it was from the um, exemplary in Dearborn, Michigan. So it is a full kit. You get the pattern, you get the floss, a needle, and the linen. And this one was created by M.L. Duvall in, I think like, does it say? when it was finished. But I believe it was in like the 1800s that this was created. And I think this one is dated 1810. So these were both a dollar and they are rep rep reproduction samplers from the 70s. And again, this one has floss, it's the whole kit super exciting. I, I think I'm going to stitch those. I can't wait. And then, um, I don't know when this is from, but it's not old, but it was also 99 cents and it is a bell pull. The reason I got it, not necessarily for the pattern is all the pieces are in here. So you get the linen, but you also get the metal, the bell and the metal to attach it to and all the directions. So if I want to do this tree, I most certainly can. I was even thinking I could do it in like pinks and teals and kind of make it more of a modern twist. But this was also 99 cents and I was so excited to have found these at uh, my local thrift store, really. And the proceeds go to a good cause. So there was that. Then I must have gone again. Yeah, I did. I went a second time to my St. Francis de Paul thrift store. I really love that place. I feel like a lot of folks are getting rid of some grandma stuff, which is right up my alley. So I ran in there and I found this, which is Trader Joe's Peppermint Tin, which is super fun in and of itself. I love tins, but it's full of big needles. I mean like giant sewing needles, but these are super big, like upholstery type needles. Look at this, oops. And there's a lot of them in here. I do not know what these would have been used for and why somebody would have this many, but they are huge, like huge needles. Look at the size of that eye. And there's a whole bunch of them in here. So if I ever have the need for a large needle, I have one. But again, it's going to go on my tiered tray when I get to that little project. And oh, for my brother's dog, for $2.89, I got a dog toy for, for her for Christmas. Because it's brand new and it's a coffee cup. And yeah, it says paw and tail. And I'm pretty sure, yes, it was $2.89. I was trying to see if it said on there the thrift store, but I'm pretty sure this is all St. Vincent de Paul. I know I'm going fast here. I need to slow down, girl. Okay, and then at St. Vincent de Paul. I can't search that, but I can search my type. Scary. I found some more floss, uh, some more Ada cloth. This one, I think, it doesn't say, but it looks like 14 count, but it's in black. And for Halloween, I love having a little black Ada around to do little things. So I grabbed that for 99 cents there. And then this I love. I use 18 count fairly regular. This is DMC. And I think the color is oatmeal. Yes, yeah, oatmeal. But this is 18, which is the equivalent of a 36 count linen. And I actually can see the holes in Ada a little better than I can see the holes in linen, but I just stitch on it all. It doesn't make a difference to me. And this too is a fat quarter. So I've got plenty of like fabrics now to do a bunch of small projects, which is exciting to me.
to do our big projects or whatever, but I've got plenty of Ava cloth. Then I found this in the craft section and I had passed this up before and then I realized what it is. So I'm gonna take it out of here. But it is, I don't even, I don't know what that is. But it is, I mean, it's cardstock. But they are um, picture frames, right? So I could literally frame a cross stitch on here or a picture or a pattern or sew something. I mean, I talk about cross stitch because that's what I'm doing right now. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is finishing items, but you can do any kind of crafts you want on these and make them your own. So this, and they all match. So you can layer them up if you wanted to or not. Like if you wanted to layer a picture in here and it was $1.99 and I got two of the open frames two of the backs and then two of these little small centers for $1.99 and I believe you can paint these or you could what I think would be super fun is covering them with um, craft paper like not really decoupaging them because I don't think that would quite work but more on the line of like a wallpaper situation you know what I mean I'm trying to get this back in so I can put it back in its container so this is how it came and you get six pieces really but I think you could do some Mod Podge and put craft paper on here or something to make it look fun you could paint it you can fabric cover it I mean look at me I'm telling you this to you like you're gonna run out and find this I don't even know where it is art parts a division of studio 490 Cleveland Ohio and then it came with a piece of black cardstock. So I don't know, but this is what they do with it, what they did, which is like a, a 3D scene. But I think what I'm gonna do with it is use it to frame or create. You know, basically it's, it's craft stuff for me to create on. I'll figure that out later. Then when I was in there, I was so excited, I found some stuff from Kirkland's. And Kirkland's is not cheap. Um, for the fall, I found this beautiful vase that it will stand on my mantle behind me and it has like wheat. And I think this will be perfect for fall time. Um, it's large and it was regularly $24.99. I got it for $8.99. And I didn't think that was a bad deal. They had like four or five of them. So I'm assuming this all came in from Kirkland's. I don't know what season, I don't shop there a lot, but. I think this is so pretty and then put some like maybe some wheat grass in the top and sit it on my mantle. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. And then I found this and I'm pretty sure this is also from the fall line of Kirkland's and it was a must. <laughs> it's a giant acorn. Can you believe it? It is a giant acorn. Look at this thing. It will sit, it has a flat back on it. So it's gonna sit also on my mantle for fall. And this was $4.99 and I could not leave it behind. I couldn't leave it behind. <laughs> and I have um, a white squirrel holding a gold acorn and I'm gonna sit it next to this because it's a small squirrel and I will just love the juxtaposition of sizes. Oh my gosh. Now here's the question of the day, volunteer or whatever store you are. Are you gonna ruin it? No. So I took the sticker off, but OMG, is this not everything? Everything. I know. Um, is it fall time? No, but I will tell you that I was at Hobby Lobby and they're putting Thanksgiving out and it's not even half price yet. So that is everything I have found in the last several weeks. Well, that is not true. I also went to, there's a town called Coshocton. If you're from the area, I was actually born in Coshocton. And a friend of mine messaged me and said that they had the fabric that I was looking for. And I was super excited. So I ran to the store, I ran to Coshocton on Saturday because I don't think they're op they weren't open any other weekend day. Or Friday I went down. And I found the glass in pink with the uh, lace, the um, Indiana Glass Company. I bought them, it's a candy dish basically, but I was looking for one because I like to use them when I gift to make 
pin cushions in them and you can hang your scissors on the side. And I really wanted this pink one and it was like 60% off. So it was $12 and it was from the 30s. So I bought it and then I came home, stuck it in this box for a video, hit this vase and broke it. So it's gone. I know, but that's fine. It's okay. It's all good. We're going to put some fun fabric in here. I haven't decided what color fabric I'm going to get and we're going to hang this on my wall and I love it. The wall that it's going on has a vaulted ceiling of like 18 feet, so it'll be perfect in this size. And I also have, could get some smaller ones if I want to. And then I have my sled, so I'm super excited. All right, everybody, that is it for my thrifty, thrift haul with a little piece of estate sale thrown in. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.